a sad reality that in the modern day, a lot of people seem to think that the government should basically be responsible for pretty much everything. This is not how things are intended to be, and we're going to talk about that idea on today's uh, Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host, I'm Kurt. Today is Friday the 30th of April of 2021, and I'm glad to have you aboard, whether it's on Rumble, on the podcast, on YouTube, or wherever you happen to be joining me from. Today, as I say, the subject is going to be government and personal responsibility, and I want you to know exactly what sort of drove me to discuss this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of read my notes, as I know, as I often do at the beginning of my videos. Um, this video is based on the idea that the Second Amendment is the, pro is the problem when a child, a 13-year-old, has a gun. The fact is, guns exist and can and will be manufactured by other than official makers. If we, as parents, don't keep guns out of the hands of our children or make sure that they know how to use them responsibly, pretty much one or the other, and that's not in my notes, I thought about that as a sort of a add-on to that idea, it won't happen. That won't happen, or it's very unlikely that it will happen. Further, knowing where our children are and what they're doing is likewise our responsibility as parents. Trying to use the government as a babysitter is pretty much always ill-advised, right? Okay, so, I'm thinking about this kid, with a, this 13-year-old with a gun in his hand, out apparently away from his parents. This is what I understand. If I'm mistaken, forgive me, but because I can only work from what I get, just like anybody else. But based on what I know, the kid was not with a parent or any kind of real guardian. He did have a gun in his hand, and sadly, the officer made a split-second decision that ended that child's life. And it was even sadder that it looks like what was going on was the child was attempting to dispose of the gun so that exactly that sort of thing didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Right? That's sad. That's a very sad situation, and it's very unfortunate. But the point that I'm trying to make here is this. You can try all you want to say that either the child having the gun or the child being out on the streets at night with that gun, with someone who he probably shouldn't have been with, uh, or the police officer killing the child as a, in, in, a, in a split second reaction is the fault of the government. You can say that, but none of it is true. Back when it was very common for there to be shooting competitions in schools, public schools, it was also a very common thing for people to give their children watches, and you may not see the relevance of that, but and knives as they got into certain age ranges so that they would learn certain kinds of responsibility as they went along in life. And this is part of what I'm talking about. We've come to this place where we've decided that personal responsibility is not how things work. We've decided that government responsibility is what we're going to rely on. And this is broken. This concept is broken. The government's level of responsibility for much of anything is, shouldn't be, shouldn't be, I won't say isn't because it is, sadly, shouldn't be a great thing, shouldn't be a big thing. But it is. We're literally treating the government like it's responsible for various things that happen when in reality what should be going on is we should be taking responsibility for the things that go on in our lives, taking responsibility as parents for our children, and making sure that they don't get guns unless we're doing specific things. Look, there are people who take their, un, quote, underage, you know, 13, 15, whatever year old kids out into the deer woods and teach them how to use that rifle, take them out target practice and teach them how to use that rifle in order to know how to get that deer. Now, I know the Second Amendment isn't about about hunting. It is actually, it's just that it, it makes even a more serious argument uh, that says, you know, you should be able to protect yourself from a tyrannical government. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't sort of imply in the process that um, you should have, be able to have guns to hunt for game or whatever. It doesn't say that. It's true. It doesn't say that. 
but that doesn't mean that's not a part of that process okay so what I'm saying here is really very simple it used to be that we took responsibility it used to be that we conferred responsibility onto our youth and that we when they became responsible things we held them to a standard that made it so that they were responsible for those things look I just took my son out fishing and he caught his first fish yesterday by the way which is a what yay sort of thing right uh, which we threw back because a it was small and B I wasn't willing to prepare it and so forth but the point is he has to learn how to deal with that rod and to keep it and so forth now fair I still end up untangling the line and so forth but the point is he learns the responsibility and this is what I was getting at with the watch right you give that kid a watch because you want to get them used to the idea of taking care of things about which they care if you fail to do that they don't become responsible the state can't make this sort of thing happen boys and girls it just can't they're not there they can't be there and further periodically if you're not really careful you're gonna end up with a dead child and I'm not saying that as a as a mean thing or a spiteful thing I'm very sad that it happened it's a horribly unfortunate thing that this young man died nobody I think with any sense and particularly if you're a parent would think would look at that and go oh that's that's ha oh, ha that's funny or or would go oh that's a wonderful no it's a horrible thing and nobody's trying to say any different and I have news for you I'd hate to be that officer because regardless whether anybody else tries to hold him responsible for his actions when he did what he thought was best at the time in a split in a split second regardless of that he's always going to have that in his mind it's always going to weigh on his or her heart on any officer's heart when they have to take the life of another human being even I'm gonna wager that even Derek Chauvin would say that now I'm not saying what he did was right I don't know according to law, uh, law enforcement in the courts that he was wrong but the point is for almost every police officer that's out there Mr. Mr. Chauvin aside almost every one of them that probably every one of them maybe there are some that are crazy that are insane right but anyone that's not a sociopath or a psychopath or whatever if they had to take a life I pretty much promise you that was not something they wanted to do okay but here's the thing you are responsible for you and trying to make it so that the government is generally responsible for other human beings it's a bad thing to do when your kid is on the street at 13 with somebody else regardless how they got there snuck out of the house or whatever uh, unless you can tell me that you know you've done everything that you can to keep that kind of thing from happening and that kid has a gun in their hand and is confronted with a law enforcement officer I'm not trying to be mean or rude but you need to understand that you bear some culpability for that my children are all still alive by the grace of God my children are all still alive none of them died of an accident none of them died of risks taken by them or anybody else they're all still alive thank God and again I feel totally sorry for you whether you did a great job of raising your kid or a horrible job of raising your kid I still feel bad for you that your child died I don't care how great or bad a job you did of that I'm not trying to say otherwise what I am trying to say is as a parent you bear responsibility for what your children as uh, do as a human being you bear responsibility for what you do the government cannot and should not be responsible for your actions there's a level that they can be said to be so but not as a general thing and this is what I'm trying to get across on today's daily summation from Kurt's religion and politics again I'm your host I am Kurt uh, today is Friday the 30th of April 2021 that means tomorrow will be Saturday the 1st of May of 2021 and thank you for having come along whether it's on rumble on the podcast YouTube or wherever you happen to have joined me today our subject for today has been government and personal responsibility and tomorrow we're going to talk about the idea of immunity and get into the idea of vaccinations while we're at it and whether or not vaccinations were in fact intended 
to give people immunity. And you can, we'll, we'll get into that tomorrow. You can sort of say it's true, but it really, we'll talk about that, as I say, and you'll see what my take on all of that is. Hope you're having a good day today. Uh, hope everything is going well for you. And hopefully we will see you again on tomorrow's Daily Summation. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video is recorded on Friday, April 30th of 2021. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's religion and politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional, or maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurt's Re Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with, a, with an S dot kpshubert dot com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the Daily Summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.